with this video. In the previous video, we learnt about arithmetic progression and its components. Today, we will see some examples based on this. Which of the lists given below is an AP? Can you tell how to find this? We learned in the previous video that in an AP, except for the first term, each term is found by adding a certain number, that is, the common difference d to its previous term. Therefore, the list in which any two consecutive terms will have the same difference will be an AP. If we look at the first, the second and the third list here, for each of them, we get the same difference between every two consecutive terms. Hence, these three lists are an AP where the first and the third are finite APs and the second is an infinite AP. On the other hand, because the difference between every two consecutive terms in the fourth list is not the same, hence, it is not an AP. Let's look at one more example. Rahul walks 3 kilometers on Monday and increases the distance covered in this way till Friday by 2 kilometers every day. Can you write a list for the distance travelled by Rahul every day? As per the question, Rahul travels a distance of 3 kilometers on Monday. Because he increases the distance travelled by 2 kilometers every day, the distance travelled by Rahul on Tuesday would be 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 kilometers. Thus, the distance travelled each day can be found by adding 2 to the distance of the previous day. What do you notice when you look at this list? This is also an arithmetic progression because here each term except the first term is obtained by adding a certain number to every term. And the number of terms in this series is fixed, hence this is a finite AP. Today in this video, we saw some examples based on AP. In the next video, we will see what kind of mistakes one commits while solving these types of questions. Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we saw some examples based on arithmetic progression. In this video, we will see what can be the common mistakes while solving these types of questions. Which statement is true for the given series? Pause the video to solve the question and then match your answer. Can you tell me what is the common difference? The difference between any two consecutive terms of an arithmetic progression is called the common difference. So, let's find the common difference of this series. If we find the difference between any two consecutive terms, then you will see that the difference between any two consecutive terms is not the same in all the cases because of which this will not be an AP. Hence, option 3 is the correct answer. If you have chosen the first option, then it is a good try. But it's the wrong answer. Because for the given series, you have found the common difference for the first three consecutive terms. And chosen option 1 as the correct answer, which is not correct. If you have chosen the second option, then it's a good try. But this is also an incorrect answer. Can you tell? What was the mistake committed while solving this question 
which led us to choose the wrong option? For the given series, the common difference for only the first three consecutive terms was found. There too, instead of subtracting the previous term from a given term, we subtracted the next term from the previous term, which gives the common difference as 3 and that is a wrong answer. Let's see one more example. The depth of a river is 3 feet up to the first kilometer and then with every kilometer, its depth increases by 10%. Will the obtained series be an arithmetic progression or not? Pause the video to solve the question and then match your answer. Let us first write a list for the given situation. According to the question, the depth of the river increases by 10% with every kilometer. That is, to get each term except the first term, 10% of the previous term must be found and added to the same. This is how we get a list. Is this an arithmetic progression? that is an AP. To check this, we will have to discuss the common difference of this series. When we find the difference between the two consecutive terms of this series, we find that this difference is not the same. Hence, this series is not an arithmetic progression. So, option 2 is the correct answer. If you have chosen the first option, then it's a good try. But this is an incorrect answer. Because you have considered a 10% increase in the depth for every kilometer in the question as a fixed number. You remember that the series you get by adding a certain number to each term except the first term is an arithmetic series. Due to which you considered 10% as a fixed number and the series obtained according to the situation given in the question as an arithmetic series. And your answer went wrong. Teachers can check the understanding of the students in the class with the help of some such examples.